So I got a lot of seafood places in Brooksville. Maybe more to come. All those places need a supply of seafood in order to conduct their business and sell the customers. How do they get that? Stay tuned and let's find out. Hello, Lego friends. Matt from Brooks Bricks here today with a vehicle mock video. And this is a pretty interesting one. This is a seafood transport truck, and you may be asking, where the heck did I get the idea for this kind of thing? <laughs> well, let me go ahead and bring the truck in and just show you, and we'll go from there. Let's use the computer here. <laughs> Without further ado, here it is. So, the premise for this truck really came from these two, or these pairs of doors here. I've got these on both sides. These are very old. Um, I believe they're from a 70s set. Um, I saw a YouTuber profile these a while back, at least six months ago, if not more, maybe even 10 months ago. Um, and I, I was like, oh, these are really cool. So I went ahead and I was able to find these doors. I was actually able to find two pairs of them on a BrickLink store in Sweden for very cheap. <laughs> and he was able to send them to me for like one or two dollars for regular letter posting to the US. In addition to these, which were like, I don't know, maybe 50 cents or 75 cents or something like that. It was, it was a very good deal. I was very happy with it. But I've been holding on to them for a while and I finally decided to go ahead and build this. And I'm really happy with how this truck came out. So this is the basis, but I had a couple of other ideas of inspiration. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So let me start from the back first. The back is fairly nondescript, so this is kind of gives the impression of a door that will kind of raise and lower. But I didn't need to actually put anything in here, I think, because I've got doors on both sides that will actually open up. And there's the other side there, too. Um, basic, kind of simple bumper here. Back design, nothing significant. Looking underneath here, I know it's in black, but there's a couple of large gas tanks there for the truck. Pretty cool. Um, and now let me get to the front, because the front was another big piece of inspiration here. The inspiration for this part, because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do for quite a while, but I wanted to do something unique, since the doors are pretty unique. This actually came from a Jang Bricks build from a number of years ago, one of his Octan trucks, and I'll put the picture up of it. <clears throat> he actually did this very cool looking cab design here with um, these windshield pieces along with this one, and these are actually kind of on the side here. And I just really liked how that worked, and I wanted to kind of create my own look to that. And I think I did a pretty good job with it. I'm very happy with how this came out. I wanted to get a little bit more of a nose to the truck compared to his build to differentiate out a bit. And it took some work to kind of make this come out the way I wanted it to, rearranging a bunch of different things, building the stuff underneath to make it work. But it came out with this, and I think it looks really cool. <laughs> I think that little nose there gives it just a more definition than I really than I had planned. And it just, it looks good. It catches my eye. I'm very happy with that. And kind of got a little gray striping here up along the side. Got this bit of a kind of a fender wheel well thing here that also took from his ideas for the, that truck. And it, it just works well there. I'm very happy with that. Um, and of course, last but not least on a truck like this, you need a freezer unit. So I put together this little thing here. I didn't want to have anything really big, but I think that this gets the point across that this is obviously a refrigerated kind of truck to keep things cool and the impression that this is kind of going into the um, the main cargo space of the truck. But let me go ahead and open this up here and show you what's inside because that's the fun part of this, right? Oh, look at this. All kinds of fish and seafood of sorts. You got a couple of larger containers that got fish and smaller ones here. Kind of the impression that these could be like shrimp or um, scallops or something like that. Smaller kinds of shellfish. And then we've got 
the larger stuff here. I didn't have any crabs at this point of the making of this video to throw them in here. But at some point, maybe I'll get some more and I'll throw those in there too. Because I think that would be pretty pretty important, right? <laughs> Let me go ahead and open the other doors on the other side here without tearing this apart. Just give you an idea of how this actually looks. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like that side design for the doors. I think it comes off really well. And it's, these are really unique. I love how these look. <laughs> and they show their age, but you know what? That's okay. Because it kind of gives the impression that this truck is, you know, been around the block and it's doing its thing. Pretty cool, right? So anyway, that is my seafood transport mock delivery vehicle. Very happy with how that came out. It was a fun little challenge. I think I went out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I'm really happy with how it came out. <laughs> I hope you like it too. Um, but for now, thanks as always for watching. To my subscribers in particular, always appreciate your support. If you haven't, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Leave a comment or a thought below. Share the video. All that stuff would be fantastic. Again, thanks as always for watching Brooks Brooks. And until next time, we'll see ya. Bye-bye.